Hello there, it's Benjamin again, and today I have a great model kit to show you. It's one I've been wanting for a little while now, but uh, I managed to get it, and so let's bring it on. And here it is. It's Academy's OV-10A, or better known as the Bronco. Yes, this is the 172 scale, and from what I understand, this is the best representation of this model um, in this size, basically. Well, I've got a few surprises in here, but let's uh, just uh, see what we get in the pack, shall we? Right, now, I've already taken these out of the box, so... Here's everything you get in the box. So, what have we here? Uh, check all parts before unsealing. What do you have? This is just a general guide for keeping yourself safe and also a bit of an advert there for their own brand of glue, which you can't get in this country. A set of decals to make two um, aircraft, I think I'll be doing the one with Marines. And uh, warning, warning, safety, safety, and all that kind of stuff on here. Basically, don't go cutting yourself or don't go cutting anybody else. And be careful when you're trying to cut away from the, yourself on the sprue. One decal guide, that's the one I'll be going with, which is the general easier one to do and instruction manual which is if we open it up pretty much clear all to the point da, 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 da. that's enough of that and here are the parts now you get uh, let's see three full sprues one half sprue here and one clear sprue. Now, since it's in my hand, let's start with the clear sprue. Now, this is the canopy which I've heard about, which is a four-part canopy. And the, these bits, sorry, these bits are a little bit tricky to put together on the plane, from what I understand. But, uh, a few people sort of like just said um, to use PVA glue when you're putting it together because it gives you a bit more flexibility to make it square, which I will be giving a go. So that's that one out of the way. And here we are with the first sprue, which is the D sprue. Now, as you can see, you've got a few bombs here. You've got uh, the, the back connector, which goes on the, the main wing here. You, I think these parts are the wee, will wet, uh, the wee, wheel, sorry, wheel wells for the rear uh, landing gear. Got some missile pods here. Uh, two two different types. I think this one is the longer one, which is the ones which I've got here, which is the four missiles in them. And this smaller one is this one, which is the multi, sorry, multi missiles. And obviously you've got your pylons here and the rear rear wing i suppose you can call that i'm not too sure excuse me for my aviation um terminology i'm not very good at aviation for a greater or lesser degree as you can probably tell but that's the d sprue this is let me take, take, take the c sprue and as you can see you've got the main wing which is nicely done it's not overly done on the raised surfaces but I suppose with a little bit of scoring you can make it stand out a little bit more I don't know if you can quite see that in there no not really uh, you've got your small machine guns here you've got the lower bit of the central hull here these two parts which the machine guns go into these little bits here uh, another pylon I believe here. and I'm not too sure what they're for 
these I think are the wheel braces and you've got your control stick you only get one control stick but from what I understand you should have two but well you can probably whip that up with a little bit of spare sprue so there we go uh, since we're doing it in order here's the B sprue and as you can see you've got the two separate rear parts of the main hull or fuselage you've got the two well you've got the front wheel and the two rear wheels here with the rear wheel um, stays or whatever they call them and these parts as well don't know what they are you've got the front cover of the engines here the rear part of the uh, actual prop propellers you've got your two seats there uh, somebody did say that you can actually get an aftermarket for these seats but I've got a photo edge set which I'll show you in a sec which um, adds to these you've got the exhausts here yeah, you've got the I think one of the control panels here and various other odds and ends here which I have no idea what they are but pretty sure I'll find out as I go along and obviously you've got a, fu a central fu uh, a fuel tank here I don't think this is a bomb I think this is a fuel tank and so that's the B sprue and here's the A sprue obviously you've got the propellers You've got the fuselage, main fuselage here. You've got the other, I don't know what they call these things. Um, maybe nacelles? We call them nacelles, it's a little easier. The other half of the nacelles here. Uh, you've got part of the cockpit here. Now most of this cockpit I will be cutting away uh, to use the photo edge set, which I'll show you. Front of the um, fuselage here I no actually that's the rear sorry you got your missiles I'm not sure what type they are but I'm not like I say into it more pylons here I believe that's for these missiles and well that's pretty much that on the front here so what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the decal sheet let's take those out now this is, like I say, Academies, and they've done a pretty good job of all this stuff. Pretty good job. You know? I do like those aces there. Whether I use them or not, I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, I do like what I see here. It's all real nice. All really nice. All very nice and small details as well. And... Just before I finish up here, I have two additional things. Because I've heard how hard it is to paint the um, canopy, I bought a masking set. This is from Montex, and it's a, a sort of a latex based. You might just be able to see all the bits and pieces there. There we go, yes, yes, you might be able to see the cut lines a little easier to see but yeah that's that and as of my want as I've said I bought a photo at set again from Edward which you actually get these control panel things which makes it a little bit easier and if you can you can light it up but I'm not going to be that advanced and you've got this lovely photo at set which really does bring out all the control panels there. You see all the lovely control panels and various other sort of like greebles and stuff like that. It's absolutely beautiful that and I will be using this. As a matter of fact I'm going to be starting this kit uh, hopefully in the next couple of days from doing this. So yeah this is really looking forward to doing this one well that is pretty much all that so maybe i have to show you a bit of the box art there's the sorry about that there's the main plane this is the one i believe which was in vietnam here's the side view 
Now, from what I understand, there was a kit, a resin kit you could get. I'm not sure who it's from, but you can convert this from an A, which is that, to a D, which had the extended nose cone. But I won't be doing that. I'm not brave enough for that. But yeah, that's all the box art, and well, that's the other side, you know, with the Academy logo, and that's the number, 12463. And, yep, yeah, again, 172 scale, just to make sure, yes, there we go. Haha. <laughs> and, uh, well, yeah, pretty much looking forward to getting this one underway and getting it finished. So, that's all for now, so I hope you enjoyed this little look-see and hopefully I'll be building this and getting it up here as soon as I have finished. So that's all for now, TTFN.